So, today I want to elaborate on a comment that was made on one of my videos. It's a video that I made like, um, I think a year ago now, in the comment, and it's about this map right here that got added as like, um, how do you call it? As like a mod. And the, the comment goes like this. Yeah, it was a mod to Metal Gear Solid V, the Fanta Pain. And the comment goes like, like this. Irritating, irritating to see a fair chunk of areas in the map that can never be explored. Camp Omega should have been twice or even three times its size to compete with Afghanistan and African maps. And the Fanta Pain, what a waste of the potential. Now before I'm going in on this, I just want to point out that I am not a Metal Gear Solid expert. So some things I may say uh, may be um, not correct with some of the other stuff. So I'm just I'm just putting it out there, like with the stuff that's actually true, you know. I'm just saying uh, stuff according to my knowledge. So he says or she, whatever, to compete with Afghanistan and African the 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 maps, the size of this island should be three times more. Now I'm saying this, this island is already pretty big to explore. And then again, I don't know what he really means with this, because if he just, if he is talking from the perspective of Ground Zeroes, this is just a tech demo. It's, it's basically uh, fixated on this one place, while the Phantom Pain that mod so he he has to realize or she has to realize that this is a mod you know it's not real like it's it it doesn't belong to the fifth game and then again you have to realize that this is an island this is not a whole country this is a damn island now you gotta he this person gotta remember that Africa or Afghanistan are like parts of like a whole ass country. So obviously the sizes are different. And as I said, this map belongs in this game, not in the Phantom Pain. What I what I showed in that video was a mod. And like I also said, this map is already pretty big and the only things that you can't really explore are the buildings. Like, unlike the Phantom Pain, you can't really go into buildings. Um, you can go in this part, though. That That's really the only big building part that you can go into. But yeah, so like, I said to him, I disagree. I think it would have changed nothing. Because you're still going to have to save Paz and Chico. And still going to end the same way. It would have no in impact on the game. It would just make it longer because you have to travel longer. And I said, remember it's a camp, but I actually meant to say it's an island. So no way it can compete to Africa or Afghan. And then I said, the way I see it is that if they change the size of the island, nothing would have changed in Ground Zeroes. It would just make the mission to retrieve pass a little longer. That's how I think about it. And oh, yeah. So I don't really, like I said, I don't really know what it means here. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just being dumb as shit. That's probably it, to be honest. But uh, yeah. That's just what I wanted to say. I don't think it's a waste of potential. This is a very good map. In this game, some stuff is even better than the Phantom Pain. Like sprinting. So the sprinting is less fast. Uh. Um. Lightning feels better in this game, if I'm being honest. In the Phantom Pain, the, the, the lightning feels a bit dull. It's still good, but it feels a bit dull in the in the Phantom Pain. Um, yeah. 
But yeah, that, that's just me doing a little bit of a elaboration on that comment. Maybe I haven't really touched it at all. I don't know, but you know. Let me know what you think about the video. And see you guys next time. Later.